howdy everyone it's Jeannie with paper pixie ink welcome back to my channel today I am showing you the last project that I made for Rosa Kelly's Christmas giveaway challenge now this is a binder I've never done one of these before um, so I might have totally missed the mark on how or what you were supposed to do with these um, but I certainly had a lot of fun coming up with how to make this so I kept mine very simple there's not um, it's a very small spine so I kept it very <laughs> very simple um, this was just kind of like a thicker bag that I had and I used it to make a kind of shaker front uh, and this is the Merry Christmas die from scrapbook.com, so I'll link that for you as well. Um, this, this is some, like, I don't know, white fur, Christmassy style trim. Um, and some more of the um, white flatback pearl trim that I had. Um, so I just used, like, a hot glue gun to kind of kind of put all of this to together um, and then this is some paper from the white Christmas I used the white Christmas from the white Christmas paper pad from recollections it's a, one of their hot buy paper pads so and then some obviously some gold foil cardstock also from Michaels the spine I kept simple with just some gold foil cardstock and then I took some white jingle bells and I put them on some like iridescent sheer ish ribbon and then I just I tied it in the center inside so I just thought it was kind of a little fun I wasn't really sure if it was going to work but I like how it turned out and then the back is just the same as the front except for I don't have the extra piece attached so when you open it up, this is just some gold foil cardstock. You can take it out. Um, I tried to keep this so that you could mainly reuse the binder if you wanted to. Um, and then I just added some a card of some extra trims and, and whatnot that kind of goes with the theme, if you will. Uh, these are some little rosettes that I made. So, and these are little jingle bells as well. Um, I did take this suggestion and I did laminate all of my pages. There's only a few pages in here, but I did laminate all of them um, to make it kind of a little bit easier. And then I just used a, I used a three-hole punch mine I can adjust the sizes so it worked out really really well and then this is I trimmed all of them in this I got this off of Amazon you can get quite a bit for how much it cost but I really kind of liked it I thought it was a lot of fun and it kind of went with the the color scheme theme so the back of all of the cards this got thick really really fast so the back of all of my pages are all just this little snowflake um, photo mat frame in silver i cut these i designed and cut these on my brother scan and cut machine and then i just layered some white cardstock on it to put the photo on so these are those Spellbinders dies for the poinsettia and I just did them in some gold foil and then I put them on or in another one of those little thick like bags that I had like I had used here uh, and then I have the fuse tool that I use to cut the bag and um then to split these up. So you can cut this open and, you know, use these for whatever. And then another one of those photos. This is actually a cute little pocket die that I also got off of um, 
off of Amazon. It comes with the pocket itself and then these little um, pieces that go in between them. And I just cut them in gold and silver foil and then I ran them through a it's a snowflake embossing folder. I want to say it's Park Lane from Joann's, but I will try and link that for you as well. If it's still available, I've had it for a while. Uh, and then I just cut some of the um, memory decks. So there's... I have two sets. There might be more. Um, but I have two sets of the dies for the memory deck. So this is one set. You've got the rounded and then the, the cropped. And then you have like the file kind of tab type ones. So I just went ahead and die cut some of these in gold foil and silver foil. And then I did some in gold glitter and silver glitter. And added those into the pockets. They fit perfectly. And then some more of the trim. And then we have another one of these. And this one's done horizontally because I, I wanted to kind of showcase the cute little snowflakes that are on the paper. And then this is just a vellum pocket. So I, I made it out of vellum and then I ran it through the same embossing folder that I had used on here. And then these are just some of the cut aparts from the collection, or mostly. So we have wishing you a very Merry Christmas from, the, from that collection and then Happy Holidays tag and Merry Christmas tag and there's, you know, room for journaling or whatever. Uh, this looks like a journaling tag as well. Really cute. Uh, and then this is a tag. There is a free SVG file available um, online and I just used it on my brother's scan and cut and then backed it with some black cardstock. So there you have it. The back is playing again with another one of these and then I had two extra that I had made um, to go on here. I had definitely miscalculated on the size and so I just put them back here and again this is just gold foil cardstock and it can be removed. So so that's that's it. I may have <laughs> I may have totally missed the mark on 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 this. But um, I did have a lot of fun coming up with, you know, with how I made it and, you know, the ideas for the inside. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, if you're interested in seeing more, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. Thanks, everyone.